Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about having too much text on your slide. Now, before you is a slide that is just, you know, made up information and, and fake, but maybe something that describes a four step process. And I bet that you've seen presentation slides that look just like this if you work for any, t any kind of organization that does different kinds of presentations or all staff presentations or public presentations. Something that we often hear is that we need to have this much text on the slide because people need the slides for after the presentation. They need to be able to access them later. They need to be able to read the process. They need the details. So my first response is always to say, you don't need that much text on your slide when you're giving the presentation. You should just create a complimentary handout or something that's supplementary to your presentation. But I suppose there are some uh, situations where you might just actually need to have a lot of text on a slide, something like this. So if I were to give you this slide right now as a presenter, I'm going to start by saying, here's my four-step process. Today, we're going to be describing a four-step process that you need to know every single little detail about. And it doesn't matter what I say from then, from that point on, because my audience is already reading way ahead. We know that we read way faster than we talk. So as I'm talking about the process, my audience is totally checked out because they're reading the rest of the slide before I even get to these sections. So if you need to have a slide that has a lot of text, why not practice a little bit and reveal the slide sections section by section as it's relevant to what you're speaking. So what I might do instead of, slow, of putting up this big slide is starting with this slide. Today we have a four-step process, and today I'm going to be describing that four-step process in great detail, and I really want you to know all of the different steps and all of the different criteria that are involved in each of those steps. The first thing we want to talk about is step one, and then I'm going to talk about what those details are in that red text below that step one header. Then I'm going to talk to you about step two, and I'm revealing step two as I talk it through in the presentation. Then I'm going to talk about step three and some of the details there. And finally, we'll talk about step four. Now, this is just super easy reveal animation that you just click through with your mouse or with your keyboard as you present. It's not difficult to present using this animation technique. It really focuses your audience's attention and focuses you, your attention too, as a presenter. Now, even though we could do this pretty traditional reveal one section at a time, There could we could add a little bit more engaging um, visuals to it. So let's actually do this again. First, I'm going to talk about my four-step process. I'm going to say we're going to be describing the four-step process. I'm going to reveal my step one and talk about the text. And now I want to talk about step two, but when I click to reveal step two, step one is going to go away. So my eyes as a reader don't even see what I just heard as step one. So now I'll talk about step two. Then I'll talk about step three and section two goes away. So now I can really focus your attention on step three and what that involves. Then I'll talk about step four and section three goes away. And now once I'm finished talking about step four, I want to show you the whole process in its entirety and we can finish with a beautiful slide like that. Now that could be another, uh, another way to reveal these sections one at a time, but adding a little bit more engagement to that slide. Here's another way to do the exact same thing, but without that most traditional reveal animation that just sort of makes your sections appear, let's use a kind, let's use a different animation um, that's not overly gaudy, but it's still pretty engaging when, when you look at it visually. So let's start with that clean slide again with just the title. Today we're going to be describing that four-step process. Here's step one, and you can see that it just wiped up. That was our wipe up animation. Now, when I reveal step two, step one is going to go down with, a, with sort of a wipe down effect as well. So there's step two. And then I'm going to talk about step two. And when I reveal, when I'm finished talking about step two, I'm going to reveal step three. And step two will go down like that. Step three we talk about. And now I'm going to talk about step four. And step four will go. And we'll still end with the entire process. So this was a 
pretty cool way to sort of focus your attention as a presenter, focus your attention uh, as an audience, and you can still have a text with, or you can still have a slide with a lot of text on it, but just make sure to reveal that slide one section at a time while you present it to truly draw in your audience and keep their attention while you speak. All right, now that we've seen how to reveal one section of text at a time on any of your slides that has to have too much text on it, I want to show you a little bit of how that we do this in the back end. So you can see here, here's my slide and we're in editing mode. Um, and what you're going to do is I have grouped each of these text sections um, so that they're all grouped together because I want them each to be revealed at the same time. So we have step one, step two, step three, and step four. Now to add animation, the reveal animation here, I'm going to go up to my animation tab on the ribbon, and then I'm going to go ahead and click fade. So this fade and appear animation, these are the ones that you'll probably use the most. But if you scroll down here on the down arrow, you'll see all the different animations that you have access to in your slide. Just be careful about using the animations that look a little too distracting uh, for your view. So make sure that all the animations that you have in your in your slides are really appropriate to the content that you're that you're presenting. So I'm going to go ahead and select this group one, and then I'm going to click on fade because I want it to fade in. And you can see over here on the timing uh, on the timing menu that it says that it's going to start on mouse click so I know that I want to click in order to start it and then the duration is set to 0.5 seconds I'm going to go ahead and set that to 0.25 seconds because I want it to be just a little shorter now I'm going to do the ex apply the exact same animation to the next uh, three sections and I can do that by clicking the animation painter up here once this animation is selected the animation painter is revealed and you can go ahead and click it and now you see the little paintbrush icon next to the cursor anything that I click now on the slide will have the exact same animation applied to it. So I'm going to do that for step two, just click it. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the animation painter again, click step three, and the animation painter one more time for step four. And now all of those different animations, uh, those fade appear animations are set into my slide. So let's go put it into slideshow mode and see if it works. Here's my blank slide and now I'm going to reveal section one as I click, click again for step two, click again for step three, and click again for step four. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to show you how to add that extra layer of engagement by adding the additional layer of animations to each of the sections. So we're going to add that fade in animation, and then we're going to add the fade out animation to each of the sections so that as you're speaking each of the sections, your audience's attention is completely focused on that uh, on that specific section. And then we're going to end with the full process of a slide that shows the full process so that you can kind of give a wrap up to the whole to the whole process. Here is the blank slide. There's no animations applied here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that group one again. We're going to do the fade in animation just like we just did. I'm going to go over here, set it, set it to 0.25 seconds uh, under the timing. It's set to on mouse click, which is just fine. Now what I want to do is I want to add a animation to the same group that disappears. Now in order to add an additional animation to an existing one, you have to go up here to the advanced animation menu uh, up here in your upper right and you have to click on add animation. If you were to just go ahead and click on some other animation here, it would replace what what uh, animation lives there now. So you need to go up here and say add animation. Here's the menu. So you have all these different entrance options, emphasis animations, and then exit animations here. That's the menu that we're looking for. So we want it to fade out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on fade. Make sure that in the timing menu, we have the same timing set. So right now it's defaulted to 0.5. We're going to do 0.25. Perfect. And again, this is on mouse click. So if I preview it, if I go up here to click preview, it shows me just a really quick in and out. Um, it's going to, I'm going to click once to reveal that section, and I'm going to click again to make that section disappear. Now let's add to the second uh, section here. We want to go ahead and add another fade in here. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's set to 0.25. And now this is, now here's a uh, kind of a tricky part here about this animation. 
Now it's also set, this next step is set to reveal on mouse click. So if I click once, it'll reveal step one. I click again, it'll make step two disappear. And then I have to click again for step two to appear. But I want it to be a little more automated than that. I don't want to have to do three clicks. I just want to have to do two clicks. So what I'm going to do for this animation here on section two is I'm going to go up to the timing menu. And then instead of on click, I'm going to say with previous. That means that it will appear when when step one disappears. So you'll see how that works once we play it in slideshow mode. So now I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and add my exit animation to step two. So I'm going to go up here to add animation. I'm going to put in fade right there, uh, fade out, and then make sure it's set to 0.25. Very nice. And that's going to be on click. Now I'm going to do the, sec uh, the same thing to section three. I want to fade in. 0.25 and this is set to on click but I want to set it with previous so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to add an animation to I'm going to make sure this is selected add an animation to this group for it to fade and disappear make sure that's 0.25 that's going to be on click and then step four we just have to do one reveal so I'm going to go up here and click on fade to enter make sure it's 0.25 and then I'm going to say with previous for this last one so and then what I have as you can see over here in our in my slideshow uh, sort of mode this is the slide that we're working on right here I have a, a full slide right after it that has no animation so once I'm done revealing step four on this slide I'm going to click once over and it's going to go to this final slide where I can do the wrap up uh, of the entire four-step process. So let's play this slide in slideshow mode and see how it works. So here's my clean slide, four-step process. Here's the title. I'm going to click once to reveal step, step one. Now if I click again, step two should, reveal, should be revealed and step one should disappear. Let's see if it works. Awesome. Looks nice. Now I'm going to click again. Step three reveals. Step two disappears and click once again, step four reveals, and step three disappears. Now I click over to do my final hurrah of here's the four step process, and let me give you a little bit of a debrief or a wrap up on that process. Okay, now what if I wanted to create a different animation? Instead of the very classic fade in and fade out animation, we did that wipe up and wipe down animation. I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. It's the exact same process. We're just using a different kind of animation uh, in that menu here. So I'm here on my, on my slide right here. By step one, I'm going to go up to my animation pane. And instead of fade, I'm going to go ahead and click on the wipe animation. And you can see it tells me that it wipes up by default like that. So that's perfect. Now I want that exit. I want the uh, animation to wipe down on exit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head, go ahead here just like we did before, go to the add animation, and then I'm going to go down here to wipe in the exit effects. But you can see that the default for that animation is always set to go from the bottom to the top. So it wipes up. And, and I know that I want my exit to wipe down. So what I have to do here while this uh, step number two here, this exit animation is highlighted, I go up here to effect options under the animation tab. And this t and I can actually set the different kinds of wipes uh, that I want here. So right now it's set from bottom and I want it to be from top. So I'm going to go ahead down here and click this. And there you go. You can see a nice little preview of it going down. So if I click on that preview button, let's see if it goes up and then down. Perfect. And those are both going to be set to on mouse click. Now I want to do the exact same process where I reveal this one up while uh, the other one goes, while the first one goes away. So that's going to be set to with previous. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to wipe up. And then over here on the timing menu, instead of on click, I'm going to say with previous. And now we're going to do that same process. Now here, I'm going to add animation for my exit. Wipe. Let's see, there's the wipe. And I want to make sure that that wipes down. So I'm going to click on the effect option there. Perfect. Same process for number three. I'm going to go ahead and add the wipe in. Set that to with previous. Then I'm going to add an animation here, wipe out. And then I'm going to change the effect to go from the top to the bottom. And then finally, step four, I'm going to say wipe in and set that to with previous. And now that should work. And just like the last section, I have another slide here, slide number six with no animation on it. That's my full four step process. That's how I want the whole sort of animation build to end. So here we go. Let's set it in slideshow mode and see if it works. Nice clean slide. I'm going to click once to reveal, wipe up. If I click again, step two reveals and step one disappears. 
Same thing for step three and step four. And here's my final process. So that was a really nice way that we can use uh, another type of animation. It's still kind of subtle, but it's also vi visually engaging. And I think your audience will really appreciate that. Now there's one more technique that I want to show you if you don't ever want to use any sort of animation. And that's just using a very straight slide design animation build. And essentially what an animation build is, is you are just going to use your uh, what you would do in animation, but you're going to just duplicate the slide for as many different uh, transitions as you want that. So right, for instance, right here, we have our full uh, process. So I'm going to start with the full process, and then I'm essentially just going to make copies of each slide uh, to the point that I want to show in the animation. So right here, I just started with a blank slide, and then my next slide is step one, because that's what I want to show. My next slide is step two. My next slide is step three. My next slide is step four. And my final slide is the full process. Now that's one, two, three, four, five, six total slides for one design build that we did the exact same thing on in one slide by adding animation. But if you were in a situation where animations weren't going to be possible, you might want to do this. Or in a situation where maybe you're at a conference presentation, you're not sure how the animations might uh, transfer over to a different computer, something like that, you might just want to keep it nice and clean and keep them all on these slides. So I'm going to show this in slideshow mode and just see how it looks. It's the exact same thing, but we're revealing one slide after another. And each of these, it looks like the same slide to the viewer, but it's actually five or six different slides. So that's an animation build that you can build within your slides uh, and not use any of the built-in animations on PowerPoint there. So I'm actually going to give away this template. So this exact template here uh, in PowerPoint, if you look at the link below, you'll be able to download it. It's a free download. And if you, uh, it just has going to have this boilerplate uh, text, you can update the text as you want to, but all the different animations, uh, the, the animation types that we've done in these videos are going to be built, built in to that deck here. So I'll show you in slideshow mode how I have this sort of set up here in sections. This is the big, the bad slide, <laughs> not necessarily the bad side, but just the full slide with no animation, all the text. Then we have in this, in this section, the classic fade reveal. That's going to be upon your mouse click. Each section will reveal as you speak it, and they all stay on the slide at the same time. Then we have the engaging reveal disappear uh, animation. They're going to reveal one, st one step is going to reveal while the other step disappears. Then we have have the engaging wipe and unwipe animation, the wipe up, wipe down animation for that. And then we have the slide with design build. So feel free to just download that slide, see how it looks on the animation pane. I hope you followed along and, and made your animations as uh, you would for the slides that you need to use them. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy the template. <music>